joining Epic Games. Is it just me? Or is the universe deteriorating? Are things just not adding up the way they used to? Are things just freaking out of whack? We've had a lot of horrible things happen the past five years. Just progressively getting worse every year, it seems. Lots of weird things happening. This is probably the weirdest thing. This is actually just weird. Like, is it is it gonna result in mass deaths and poverty? No. But it's weird. Epic Games, the developers of, what they made? I know they made Fortnite, I think they made Fall Guy? Fall Guys? Let me double check that. Has bought Bandcamp. Look, I'm not gonna roast the editors and writers and journalists who contribute to Bandcamp, but I follow all of them on Twitter, and a big value that they put in your faces all the time about Bandcamp is that it's independent unlike though that evil big corporation Spotify Bandcamp is going to give more money to the artist which is true by the way Bandcamp is great Bandcamp is a very great service look at this look at look at this you go on Bandcamp's website and then you go to I'm on the I'm on it right now on my laptop and then you go to where is it you scroll and we go to about us and they have this big fluffy page all about how wonderful they are for artists and how they they literally link a bunch of articles the anti-spotify how online music company bandcamp became the toast of the covid age a moment to rethink how we support music and just all these articles about the 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 nice you know you know, screw the big system. A lot of the anti-system, anti-Spotify crit criticism comes from Bandcamp editors, Bandcamp writers, Bandcamp, Bandcamp, Bandcamp. Band, I mean, that's just like the big like selling point of Bandcamp is that it's like somehow the indie, and it is. And now it's being bought by Epic Games. Epic Games, the creator of Fortnite, one of the most successful games of all time, popular games of all time. Whenever you buy music on Bandcamp, 15 to 20% of that money goes to Bandcamp. The other 80% goes to the artists. That's a pretty decent model. Now, 15 to 20% is going to Epic Games. What are we dealing here with Epic Games? Let's take a quick look. What? Let me just do this real quick. Epic Games value. Okay, so... In a real uh, forty-two billion dollars, forty-two billion dollars, forty-two. Bandcamp wasn't just bought by a big corporation; they were bought by a massive corporation. Epic Game, Ep Epic Games, forty-two billion dollars of like you when you buy music off Bandcamp now, you're literally buying it off a forty-two billion dollar company. That's like a freaking you just it's like buying music from Walmart. I'm just gonna Google this real quick. Spotify value. Okay, February 10th. At the time of writing this, according to Y chart, Spotify's market cap value on the New York Stock Exchange sits at 32 billion. That's less than 40 something billion. Bandcamp? Now, if you buy music from Bandcamp, your money is going. to a bigger corporation than Spotify. Let that sink in. Bandcamp that has repeatedly framed itself over and over and over again as the 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 anti-capitalist, fair, friendly, pro-worker, anti-hierarchy, independent platform that's completely flipping the entire system of music industry on its head is now owned by a bigger corporation than Spotify. If you pay money to Spotify, your money is going to a smaller a smaller corporation than Bandcamp. I'm pretty agnostic about the consequences of this. I think there's a lot of awesome stuff about 
Bandcamp that is fantastic. That I think having a big corporation backing them is gonna make it a better platform because I think Bandcamp is great, but their app is freaking trash. Whenever I search a band, I have to flip through three pages to find them, even though I searched their exact name correctly or something. It's just, they have a great service that just really needs like additional resources to keep getting better, but not like this. Epic Games, Epic Games. I think if we're being honest with ourselves, there's a lot of potential to gamify music. Lots of us are already just listening to a bunch of music and then putting it into our freaking stop, top, topsters as if it's already kind of a game. So we can spend a long time speculating. How is this gonna, what kind of horrible consequences is this gonna have in terms of the world of indie music? I honestly, can I be honest with you? I don't really care that much. I don't care. I, I'm Like I said, I'm pretty agnostic. I think the consequences could be kind of good, make, this, make the app better, and then probably kind of bad, because if you're a $42 billion corporation, you only get that big if you really prioritize monetization and making as much money as possible, so it's only natural for us to expect that they will find ways to slice, slice and dice, take a little bit more money from the artists, take a little bit more money from the, 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 the users. And uh, right now, Bandcamp insists that they are staying completely independent, but Three years down the line, four years down the line, five years down the line, people are slowly gonna gradually forget Bandcamp's reputation as an independent, sort of anti-system, anti-big corporation kind of model. And slowly you might see that 85% number go down to 75, down to 60%, slowly becoming another kind of Spotify service. We can speculate all day. Maybe Bandcamp won't change at all. And maybe the Epic Games are just really love Bandcamp and they bought it because they, they wanted to feed their ego and make them feel like they're indie. Who knows? Ha ha ha. Ha 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 they all de deactivated their tw their Twitters the day this was announced because they didn't want to have to deal with getting bombarded with the, what the flying fudge is this? I mean, this was already kind of a, a, a shock to the system of indie music and the way this was just kind of, just like a tweet and Instagram post. We're joining Epic Games. Like, come on, be real with us. Just be, be real with us, be more straightforward, like, Get like get get direct with us. I understand. It's just that we live in a society where big corporations are gonna be able to buy small indie corporations. That's how it goes. But don't don't just try to plop this out there. Hide, deactivate your Twitter accounts. And I don't blame the journalists and the editors and the the people who work at Bandcamp for this, because obviously Bandcamp is like a, on any other corporation. There's a CEO who owns it, and Epic Games probably made an offer that was too sweet to turn down. If if you're running Bandcamp and making very, very little money off of it realistically. And then and then Epic Games comes over and says, hey, we have a ton of money, duh. Of course you're gonna take that deal. And it has nothing to do with the the, 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 the writers or the journalists or anyone who works there. It was, it's the owner of Bandcamp and I can't be mad at him. It's just, um, it's just like, like every single part of our human psyche is being attacked from every single direction. Why? Did we have Trump as president? Then why did we follow him up with like a deteriorating deteriorating old man Joe Biden who can't even finish a sentence? No offense. But that hurts my psychology. And then why is Russia invading Ukraine and why is there a virus going around killing everybody that no one can get under control? Why did Harambe die? And then Epic Games buys Bandcamp. Epic! I'm pro Epic Games. I'm pro Epic Games, Epic Games. Fortnite is fun, Fortnite is fun. Maybe they'll do a good job with Bandcamp. This was like a freaking nuclear bomb just being dropped on us. It just shows that nothing, there's like nothing in this world that like can resist the system. It's just gonna pull you in. 42 billion dollar, 40 something billion, 40, 40, 40, billion, 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 billion. What's next? What's next? Are there gonna be Bandcamp stores popping around? Are we gonna have self checkout machines to buy? Boop! Congratulations! You now have a Claro NFT, which you can apply to your Fortnite skin.
billions and billions and billions of dollars, a corporation doesn't just buy ding, ding, and then just hold on to it and put the time and effort and energy in maintaining it. No, no, no. If they buy something, they're gonna wanna ching, 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 ching. They're gonna wanna maximize those profits. That's how it works. That's how Bandcamp already worked. There's no, need, there's no need to pretend. They were pretending beforehand. That's not how they did work, but obviously that's always how they've been working. But now the, the illusion of somehow them being a, a, a anti-capitalist sort of entity, even though they were literally a, a corporation, is just completely shattered and nothing, nothing makes sense anymore. Just tor just, just, I don't care. Just keep using Spotify, keep using Bandcamp. Just, I don't care. Let's not pretend that choosing to torrent something which I am totally pro-torrent. Well, let's not pretend that we're like doing anything meaningful here. I, I don't know. I just, I need to like sit and process this. I think in terms of like all, for all practical purposes, in terms of how it's gonna affect our lives, I think it's gonna be very, very little. It's just, a, it's just like literally an attack on your psychology. It's like if Bernie Sanders, after his campaign, presidential campaign, took a job at Amazon. Like that's that's what it is. That's what it is. And could you blame Bernie Sanders if Amazon offered him a high enough? Actually, that would be pretty disgusting. All right, I look, I'm done. There's no, I don't have any criticism of Bandcamp. I don't even have any criticism of Fortnite games. Just the absurdity and the frankly hypocrisy of this whole thing is just too shocking to not contemplate for a little bit. And remember, nothing is pure. Even my channel, once I get 100,000 subscribers, just don't believe a word I'm saying because I'm just saying it all for money. That's all I gotta say. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let this sink in. Let this let, let this insane universe sink in. Punk revolution. Punk revolution now! Okay, you know what? We're gonna have a punk revolution. We're gonna fix it. Punk revolution now.